हेलो गाइज टूडेज क्वेश्चन इज़ फ्रॉम रश्मि एंड शी इज़ फ्रॉम मुंबई शी वॉन्ट्स टू नो एग्जैक्टली वॉट इज़ दी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ मेडिसिन इंस्ट्रक्चर ऑफ मेडिकल एजुकेशन इन यूक्रेन आई एम अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ फिफ्थ ईयर इन वेनिसा नेशनल मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी एंड इन जस्ट टू मोर मंथ्स हम गोना गेट प्रमोटेड टू दिस सिक्स ईयर द लास्ट ईयर अबाउट द education structure of medicine in ukraine it's like see for first two years you have the pre clinical subject which is actually the base and in that they teach you the bio, biology chemistry and little bit of physics so that it helps you in the clinical subjects and later on in the and you also get in first two years you get the cadavers and uh, to get to know about the human body and human physiology uh, you do get bodies and cadavers it's pretty much available in ukraine as of now and about the clinicals they do start from the third course and then your clinical subjects like your pathology your internal medicine your pediatrics all such subjects starts and then your maximum classes they take place in the hospitals and doctors and professors they take your classes you get to see the patients on the daily basis you don't have to treat them but you visit them with your doctors and then you start writing the case histories as well it goes on from second year third year fourth year fifth year so like for four years you have to write case histories you will get your own patients in the groups and then you will write it and about the structure it's like you have 10 to 12 students in one group so that there it's uh, the structure is different from india so like there you have 100 to 150 students all of them in one group but here it's like 10 to 15 students 10 12 in some universities it's 15 but in my university is maximum 12 and your teacher will give the like individual attention so you have to you have to prepare well and the structure and the system is ects which is like a uh, european credit transfer system in which you have to prepare your topics before the class you will get the plan like which topic you have to prepare so you have to prepare it and you have to give a short test maybe it depends on the teacher it can be oral it can be written it can be an mcq whatever it has to be you have to answer it you and you get marks out of 5 and you are just not allowed to miss classes you have to attend the classes every day if you somehow miss the class because of any reason you can get the permission from dean's office but if you are missing class for no reason you have to rework it you have to go on saturday and do the rework of it so like the attendance it has to be 100% for sure if you don't have the 100% attendance you are not allowed to sit in the exam and for all the subjects there are like modules and exams every semester you have to give the modules which is like a small exam and then once the subject finishes then you have to give the exam nothing is nothing is difficult if you study daily for the subjects you can pass anything easily so you have to be sincere and you have to be punctual nothing to worry about if you have all these things i guess this is the basic structure if you have any other question do let me know write down below i'm giving you my email id and phone number if you like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please like our video as well try to share share it with your friends as well because we we are the group of students we are just trying to help them as much as possible because you have it's your right to know all the things before you come here okay see you next time